what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, unless you're talking about self-driving taxis coursing up and down the Vegas Strip, because those will hopefully hit the streets of other U.S. cities by next year, at least if it's up to Motional, which is a joint venture between Hyundai and tech maker Aptiv. They have had their fleet of all-electric and fully autonomous robo-taxis driving around Sin City officially for one week now. Basically, what riders can do is they go on the Lyft app and they order the Ionic 5-based car to get you from the Strip to your next pool party. Right now, there are still drivers sitting behind the wheel, but they're not touching anything, right? They're just there to intervene in case of emergencies as part of this sort of beta rollout. But the goal is for the fleet to be fully driverless by next year and for Motional to expand to other major U.S. cities. So how is it going in this first week? Joining me now on a Fox Business exclusive, Motional President and CEO, Carl Yanyama. It's great to have you, Carl. So give us the update. I mean, five days of this so far. Tell us how it's going. Great rider feedback so far. You know, at the end of every trip, we get rated just like a normal Lyft driver. And uh, almost all five-star ratings, the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. You know, we are developers of driverless technology it's about the most cutting edge tech out there. Uh, what we find though is riders, you know, they don't care that much about the tech. <laughs> they just want a trip that's safe, that's comfortable, and that's very smooth. And that's the feedback that we get. They say, wow, what a smooth ride. Absolutely loved it. And that's music to our ears. I understand that they're free for now because you want to get some adoption here. How much would something like this cost, say, in a year, if I need to get from the Bellagio to, I don't know, the Las Vegas Convention Center? Well, we're going to be competitive with human drivers. So, you know, we don't want to offer a service that's going to command a steep premium. Mm -hmm. Again, riders, they just want to get from A to B. So we know we have to be cost competitive. The exciting thing for us as technology developers is we see a path to a point where we can offer a service that's in fact cheaper than a human piloted trip. And that really excites us. That, no, that, that tells us that we can unlock a large market opportunity in the coming years. Well, there, there's so much discussion about who needs this. We just actually showed uh, some of your video that involves uh, people who are sight impaired. It would be extraordinarily helpful. But uh, again, they don't know where they're going, so they can't really ask the driver. What safeguards do you have built in? Is there audio that they can automatically access where they can talk to a human if something doesn't feel quite right? Yeah, all those things. You know, we've done quite a bit of research on the accessibility side. Good. We've got touch-based controls that are physical in nature, so individuals who are sight impaired, you know, can access them. We've got the ability for a rider to actually talk to someone remotely, what we call remote customer assistance. You know, in fact, some of the feedback we got was, um, in particular from individuals with sight impairments, they felt safer in the vehicle that was unoccupied rather than being in a vehicle, you know, with a stranger. So we feel that from an, access an accessibility perspective, we really do have a lot to offer with driverless technology. When are you gonna start charging in Vegas? That'll be next year. Okay. So we're just getting off the ground, you know, launching with a handful of vehicles. As you mentioned, learning a lot from customer and rider feedback, that's very valuable to us. 2023 is a big year for us as a business. That's our commercial launch. That's when we'll start collecting fair revenues from riders. Well, Carl, you're not the only one doing this. I mean, you've got Amazon subsidiary Zooks. We tomorrow have Mary Barra of General Motors. She's got crews. They are rolling that out in different cities. And then, of course, we've already ridden in Waymo's uh, autonomous vehicles. F pretty fascinating. Uh, we did that in Phoenix, Arizona. Waymo, of course, is Google's autonomous driving business. How do you stay on top here and Lyft's effort within this? How important is that? You know, what's unique about Motional is that we have, in my view, the strongest partnerships in the business. As I said a minute ago, ultimately, you got to be able to offer a service that's low cost, that's comfortable, that's safe. There's a technology and software part of this. There's also the vehicle part of it. And so Motional is partnering very closely with Hyundai to get the right vehicles at the right price on the road. Hyundai does a better job than anyone in the world at putting safe, reliable, cost-optimized vehicles on the road. So that's a huge advantage for us at Motional. Well, I'm going to try it when I get to Vegas <laughs> for the Consumer Electronics Show, for sure. We need those. Thanks so much, Carl. We'll continue to watch this. So come back when you have some more news to break here. Will do. Thank you.